All right. How we doing? We are back at the spider grinder, and it's working pretty swimmingly. Um, I already did some other stuff. I let it run a, like maybe 10 seconds right now. You see, I already got a lot of spiders. It seems to be generating uh, a lot more mobs a lot faster than our skeleton grinder. I think part of the reason is, is because they don't have to get sucked up a tube and then drop the other side because that takes a long time to occur. Here, they, they spawn over there, jump down, get stuffed into this hole pretty much immediately. So they get removed from the area pretty fast. And I can get up to quite a few really quickly. <laughs> Occasionally there are spider jockey skeletons and they suffocate inside. And uh, they're a little bit noisy, but that's all right. He'll die you know, soon. Yeah, there he goes. And, he, and I get some bones, <laughs> which I don't really need. So, uh, you know, I'll just carry these out with me, whatever. But yeah, so I don't really, I hooked up the cart, I hooked up a little lever, got my chest done. Everything looks pretty shoddy and ugly here, um, but I'm not going to be too concerned about this until much later. Yeah, I just used the materials that I got, and I got a lot of cobble. I, I did eventually do some strip mining, and uh, I got a lot of cobble from that, got a little bit of dirt, got a lot of diamonds from that, which is really nice. I uh, got a little bit of gold, a lot of lapis. A lot of redstone, which is the big thing I needed, because when you're caving, you don't get that much redstone. But when you're strip mining, you're going to get a lot of redstone. And uh, that's one of the things I end up doing. So, follow the instructions here. Flip the lever. What that will do, that will block new spiders from coming in, and that will seal these guys in here. Because what I found was when I used the crusher, uh, sometimes they'll squirt out, back out of there. But this way, it will keep them inside, and that way, uh, after it's finished crushing we won't have new spiders come in here that aren't crushed. So these guys are all prepped and they're all going to be nice one or two punch kills which is nice and lovely. Take care of them right now. And uh, I think spiders give more experience, maybe. I could be utterly completely wrong and I could also just jump in here and grab whatever I need and just fall back down. So yeah. Then we just let all these other ones, and you can see there's all this fresh brood. Oh, they're already coming on in. Look at that. Look at all of them coming. Yeah, they spawn quite quickly here. And uh going to fill these chests up fairly quick. I think, yeah, I actually put them in the wrong one for a while there. Uh, no, let's not dump these in there. All right, so that's that. And I've set up the cart, as I mentioned. And basically... Um, how this one works is there's a switch here and when you push the button back at the area it will trigger that one the detector rail will reset it back the other way when you come up you'll get thrown back in the right direction and it, it doesn't disturb the pathway between the hanging gardens in my place as well so that is as best as I can do it it is a little bit ugly I would have liked it Better if I could keep the path between Hanging Gardens and my place in a straight line, but uh, unfortunately that's just not how switches work uh, when you're dealing with rails, unfortunately. So yeah, this is where we have the place, and basically when I push this button, it will send the cart off and it will trigger the switch as well. Alright, so we're going to go take a look at the Ender Farm prototype first and uh, I'm gonna head over there and I'll show you guys when I get there okay so here we are we are back at the spawn area and this is the prototype that I made this was gonna be the new design for the ender farm until I figured out something that it really wasn't actually that much more resource friendly uh, basically how it works it uses the trip wire which we can get a lot of now with the spider spawner and when something spawns on these platforms, uh, it will get pushed off. It will trigger the redstone all the way across. Hello, spider. And it will cause all the pistons to push and shove the thing down to this death. And to its dreary, dreary demise. Like so. Uh, the problem with this is that compared to the original design that I had for the Ender Farm, uh, is that... It uses two extra redstone per layer, and it needs one piece of iron for the hooks. And to me, 
right? I could just like the, the, it saves me on a lot of wood in terms of the wooden pressure plates, and it saves me a block for needing three layer high stuff. But I don't think that's actually going to be that much of an issue. Actually, wait, does this save me two times redstone? Let me think for a second here. I'm trying to remember what the old design looked like. It was, you know what? It actually does save me redstone. So I actually might go with the design because I was just thinking, like, well, the other design uses redstone torches, right? And it goes pressure plate, torch, block, torch, and then piston. So this is actually more economical because uh, that uses two redstone dust per. This only uses two extra per layer, whereas that one is double this amount. So, okay, yeah. So we're going to go with this then. <laughs> Change my mind again. Uh, iron should be relatively easy to grab. We might have an iron farm coming up soon. I was gonna say that wood's no problem because Zordash has made a wonderful, wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful tree farm here for us to use, and it's been working wonderfully. Can't say wonderful enough about it. Can't say enough about it. Uh, but yeah, looks like we might have to go with this design. All right. Either that or I might feel lazy. I might keep this for... Because I already made a lot of redstone torches preparing for this. So, oh man. And then now I'm like, I don't really need it. Uh, we might keep this for the mob grinder. Because the difference between this and the one for the ender grinder, there's two things. One is that all the pistons push at the same time when it's triggered. And that's not a problem for a mob grinder because they're all going to be funneled into a single place at the end anyways. Whereas this one here, we want to use it for XP as well. And so I'm not going to have that many of these things set up. So having an individual pressure plate pushing the enderman uh, might still be a better thing. And it's also easier to build. And I don't want to make so many hooks. I already made a lot of redstone torches, so I'm a little bit lazy. But this is good for the mob grinder because it's a two high trap, whereas the Enderman farm obviously is a three high trap. And this one uh, works with the two high guys. Uh, it, we can't make the Enderman style one with the redstone torches for regular mobs because they're two high, not three high. Uh, but the three high works for the Enderman. Okay, so we're going to pop over to the end, guys, and I'm going to get building, and uh, maybe partway through, if I run out of redstone torches, I'll switch over to this side, this thing, because they, they all essentially work the same way, right? It's just like something triggers, and then they push them down a cliff. <laughs> all right, so I will be back when we get to the end. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the end here, and um, I'm in my little... Love Shack with Mongoose. Mongoose is indeed actually home as well, uh, online as well. Home. He's 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 around. He's been working on the. He's over there. In fact, you can probably see his name on the ground. He's been working on this little iron farm, iron golem farm thing that um, abuses the portal respawn glitch. That's probably going to get patched before 1.4 comes out, but um, it's there right now, and so I think we're going to try to get some use out of it to get some extra iron. Um, there's my stuff. I've left a bunch of other things. I've brought my ender chest over as well. I'm going to carry very little with me. In fact, I might as well take off my armor because I'm peculiar, particularly nervous about this part here. I've brought up... I was going to leave my pickaxes behind me a while, but if I make a mistake, I'll need it. So I'm bringing only the Unbreaking 3 with me. And here is my pathway. Uh, you can see that the path starts at 123. And we'll just get rid of this guy. Out of, out of my way. So yeah, we actually have to go down, 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 down. I want to get down to about zero. Uh, y, Y zero. And we're at Y like 57. So we're gonna have to drop down about 50 or so uh, blocks. And that's gonna be a little bit risky. It's gonna be a little bit scary to do so. Um, as if walking along this thing through an unrendered chunk is not scary enough. Uh, as it is right now, the pathway does extend quite far. Don't remember how I lit it up last time, but I kind of want to do like floating blocks and lighting it with torches and stuff like that. I think this is the end here. It's not an unrendered chunk, it's just the end of the line. Yeah, I put it at, I think, 333, so it's easier for me to remember. And uh, now we have to go down. So. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put, you know, actually, let's put the water right on top. That's probably the safest way to do it. 
And we're going to just hover here. Uh, actually, we're going to go straight down, I think. This is going to make things easier this way. I have no idea which Y level I am at. I need to breathe. Breathe. And let's get down to zero. Or close to zero, actually. Let's not go straight down to zero because I think zero is where you start taking uh, void damage. So let's not go down that far. Let's go about to this 10-ish area here. Oops, we're out of locks too. That's a good time. So that should be uh, where our eyes are is at 11 here. So one more. All right, so here you go. So that's 10. And I guess I will build across from here, like that. And then across like that. And then we'll just staircase our way back up. And this should be f uh, far away from anything, so people won't be able to see it. But yeah, that's how far we just traveled down. I just wanted to record this part because it's a particularly nerve-wracking. Um, let's see. 10, oh, we're at, we're at Y11 now. Oh, I wanted to go down one more. Oh, well, that's that's what we're going to deal with. We're going to be at 11, and minus from 57, that is 46, so we need to go 46 away from 333, which is 79. So we're going to go to 379, and we're going to go a little bit further, just in case. We're going to go 380, and then uh, that way, if we miss it, we can just make the horizontal a little bit more whereas if we miss it the other way we have to undo everything that we did and I rather not do that all right there you go so we're at 380 here and we're gonna go up and then we come back and we can add the railway and then we can start building our platform uh, down there and yeah, this is the last time I just went straight out. I didn't go down, uh, but this time I want to make a very, very tall uh, ender farm. So I am taking the time to actually go down. That way I have more headspace to work with. Uh, last time I didn't build above like 170 or something like that. Uh, this time I fully intend to go beyond that just to see if things work out that way. And um, yeah, so we, we this part is not as risky. I'm just holding down shift. So I think we'll cut back when I'm done with the platform and <laughs> once I get back up to there. Uh, yeah, when I'm done with the platform and after I set the rail and everything like that, I'll come right back. So, okay. Hopefully I won't die in the meantime. Okay, we're back, but we're not at the uh, platform. Rather, we're at the spawning platform. And we're going to take a look at Mongoose trying out his Iron Golem farm thing. So the water is starting. It's going to push our poor old friend this way. And he's going to take the long road up. Oh, hello. Go. Uh, I think he got stuck. I don't know if I was part of the problem there, but mm, I'll give him a push. <laughs> uh, will he continue? Okay, yeah, he he continues on his own. So, oh, well, maybe he didn't. Uh, maybe he didn't, or maybe he did. He's glitching out between those two blocks, just teleporting. Maybe what he needs is half slabs instead of instead of these. Yeah, we'll give him a push. Push him all the way. Hmm. Forcefully, well, actually, once they spawn more, there you go, there he goes. Uh, 
How do we get out of here, Mongoose? Over here. Once they spawn more, they'll start pushing each other. Let's see if the next group is coming back. So every time you push them into the portal, it creates a couple more. And this is a, uh, a little glitch that was discovered by Queen King Happy. And we were just following the kind of the thing that he was doing. So here they are, our little buddies. So that one golem now became four. And uh, they're getting stuck here still, I think. Let's let's get them all let's get them all going. I don't want to go, Daddy. Too bad. Too bad, son. Shove each other. Go. <laughs> I feel like we're like cat herders or something. We're just wrangling the iron golems. Going, move, get, get, get on, horsey. Totally humane. So these four are going to be 16 in very short bit. Very, very short bit. <laughs> uh, okay, I kind of want to, while, while Mongoose does this, I'm going to run back and watch them uh, quadruplicate, so to speak. Where's the exit? Where's the exit? I think the exit's right here. Yep. Quadruplicate. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, 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 look at that little legion army here. Go, go, transform and roll out. They are getting stuck in this little part here. I don't know how to fix that, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a ridiculous number of iron golems, though, I have to say. I have to say, it's pretty redonkey Kong. See? Oh. I thought he was using cl uh, wool for this part, but no. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Just go. I like how they're, they're managing to get stuck every single time. <laughs> I wonder what he's seeing. Let's take a look. Where is he at? Oh, he's over there. Oh, it's like the March of the Penguins. They're off. And they're stuck. And they're off. And they're stuck. And they're off. <laughs> but yeah, that one iron golem that we had now, it's, it's there's quite a few of them. They're all the same too. I, if you guys remember, I punched one of them. So now they all have that one punch registered too on all of them as well. They are getting stuck though. Um, need to optimize the little passageway here. But yeah, and then I think I don't know what this is. This oh, and then you, this goes down here, I guess. Ah, I hate these things where you bang your head on it. I'll leave this first one. Then I'll open up the rest of these. I need the end stone anyways, I'm almost out of end stone. Okay, and yeah, there's the lava blade, and these are all the master... Whoa, hello! <laughs> uh, toggle up to that and switch to multiplier. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty cool contraption. I show you guys my progress so far on the railway and the platform, I guess. Might as well do that. Um, can't take the railway just yet because Endermen are still on it, and bugging me. Uh, I need to start putting glass like so across, and then all the way across. Got these ones done. I basically just used a water scaffold and dropped two cobble, broke one, and put the torch on the bottom one. 
and yeah oh boy that's a long walk all the way over and as it is right now I, I like the view like this I, I remember when I built this for the duck soup server a lot of guys were complaining when I added the water to keep the enderman off uh, they said no we liked the view before so I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it this way and leave it like this uh, I only have the glass above and I don't think I'm gonna bother putting torches or anything here because nothing can spawn here anyways so it should be okay and if endermen are walking above the thing then uh, there will be yeah, and I had a little nice shape. But yeah, and I've been walking above the glass. It won't affect the player at all. But yeah. And they can't spawn on the glass. They can only teleport to the glass anyways. So I've got this little area here. I made a nice little shape this time around. And... Pfft, that's that's nice, Mongoose. Yeah. So I made a nice little shape this time around. This is going to be the area. I'm going to put the chest and stuff like that. I'm probably going to put a garbage disposal thing right here. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit wider, but I ran out of end stone, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the fencing uh, in the air, floating around in the air, and that should do it. And that will keep, that way this little area is a nice little walkway. I think I'm going to use cobble, um, cobble walls, but yeah. And all these torches represent the landing platform and the raising up and down platform thing, so we're going to have to go down eventually and do more things. Um, that's pretty much it for this so far. So we'll come back when I've made a little bit more progress on that. And we'll also check up on the uh, Iron Golem farm while we're at it. Uh, I want to get rid of that vertical bit <laughs> that we left behind here. But it's so, so hard. I, I might need an Aqua Affinity helmet, but uh, who knows. Yeah, so we'll deal with it eventually. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll come back when I made a little bit more progress on this. I'm uh, not going to show too much of me building this because I already have a video before. Um, so we might just come back when it's almost all done, uh, said and done. Yep. What have you done, Mongoose? You've destroyed the world! <laughs> It's like that moment when they first tested the nuclear bomb the very first time and then the uh, mushroom cloud is expanding and it, they thought for a second there that it would never stop. They thought they miscalculated the, um, the amount of uranium or whatever they were using inside of it and that it would never stop. And right now, um, wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at these guys go! Uh, this iron farm is pretty crazy. And um, if you guys were looking, I, I, I filmed the glitch video today, and I'm planning to put it up ahead of schedule of everything else. Um, so it might come out before this episode, and you guys can take a look at that. If so, I will put the link in the video description below on how this glitch works. And I think this is pretty much the only thing we're going to deal with it because this is what we saw from the uh, Creaking Happies video. And the Iron Golems, they're marching. They're marching. Oh my goodness, it's like a indestructible army of doom just coming out out of nowhere. Oh, it looks like it ended there. Looks like we reached the end there. Looks like they finally stopped going. We're getting little frame drops though. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Frame drops. It could be that the server crashed as well, thanks to Mongoose. Let's just check with a quick torch. Nope, it seems like it's okay. Um, wow. I can hardly... This is, don't fix your YouTubes, guys. This is what's happening on screen. And oh gosh. They're just spinning in place. Oh god, okay. He switched off the multiplayer. Go to harvest mode. Quickly, man. Quickly. Okay, feels a little bit better here now, I think. Yeah. Almost all of them have trapped. The further we get away from it, it feels a little bit better. 
Uh, when we get close to it, there's just way too many entities there. Let's just take a look. Uh, easily about 500 or so entities. So that's, uh, yeah, a ridiculous amount of iron golems being generated here. <laughs> you better be harvesting them. Well, yeah, we feel it when we get in here. Ah, oh, he left the game! What a douche! Oh, goodness! I'm harvesting them. Screw it. I'm doing it. Uh, oh, no. Here, there he is. I just hear them up there. Harvest them for the love of graciousness. He's emptying out his, his inventory. Are they overflowing into here? I think they're like bumping each other into there. Oh. I don't hear them being harvested. I don't see... This... This is not... The harvest flow is not on. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Screw him. We're gonna harvest this. Toggle up to harvest. There you go. Oh my goodness, look at them burn! And let's collect some. Look at that. Instantly a lot of flowers. A lot of... I think I'm just gonna toss these flowers in here. He needs a... I need to make him a piston crusher. So he can get rid of these flowers when he doesn't need them. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty Donkey Kong. Okay, I can turn off that for now. Oh, that feels a little bit better. And that's how much iron we just got right now, <laughs> just by multiplying the iron golem. I wonder if there's any left inside. Let's take a look. Yep, there's still a few... Oh, there's quite a good number still left behind. And uh, the the multiplier flow hasn't started working yet, so... Yep. <laughs> That's some insanity right there. Let's just make these into blocks. These are from all test runs, too. We're not even... Actually, it's not fully functional yet. Let's make... Don't accidentally make a whole bunch of shirts. I've done that before. Okay, well, that's good enough for now. And look at all these. These are all from the testing. We just got way too many. We're Donkey Kong, I tell you. Uh, I'll just put that away there. All right, and uh, I don't got much time left for this video, so I'll show you how much progress I made today, and I think we'll wrap up the Ender Farm next time around. Uh, made it very pretty. I did end up using cobble again a little bit just because I didn't have that much end stone and other materials, so I ended up using cobble, uh, but it should be okay. It looks pretty good. I use cobble walls as well, and um, yeah, I like this. This looks really nice. Just going there. It's so serene and calm. No mobs, and uh, I need to make sure that the light level is good enough on the the little drop down part here to not spawn any Endermen. And that looks like it. Look at that. It looks so pretty. And yeah, so no Endermen can spawn here, which is the main goal. They can teleport to this section up here. Uh, they can teleport right here and just kind of walk along here. They can teleport onto this, the, the fence as well. Uh, but nowhere else. They can teleport over to the railing maybe, but there shouldn't be a reason for them to. They'll just take a fall damage. This will be the enchanting setup right here. I'll probably do the same thing where you step up and the bookshelves come up for level 30 and you step off for level 1 enchant. And I don't know why people do level 1 enchant. I was going to have the garbage disposal here. I'll probably have the lever for uh, activating it right in the middle again. And I'll put with a, a chest and an ender chest probably. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do a melon farm. A really, really simple melon farm there. People which wouldn't be using it anyways, I don't imagine. So I'll just have it just in case people need emergency food. So there will be a melon farm there. And then I'll have the ender chest storage stuff here. 
not the Android trust, the Ender Pearl storage, rather. Um, like, there's space there, there's space there. Uh, I might even do them in certs like that, and then do it too like that, something like that. Haven't quite decided exactly how I'm going to make it look. I'm um, not expecting people to store that much Ender Pearls here, so I might just do them that way. We'll have eight chests or something like that. And uh, that would be pretty much it. I don't imagine anything else is required for here. This, this landing pad area is just for looks, really. <laughs> and uh, we'll get this thing going. We'll be building straight up. And maybe we'll decorate it and make it look pretty as well. Uh, maybe we'll build it out of iron blocks. I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. Have a little bit of the white, and then it'll kind of stand out in the area there. And I know I might draw an Enderman out of obsidian or black wool or something like that as well, just because it looks pretty that way. Or have a giant Enderman staring at you as you go in. Um, that'd be kind of cool, I think. And uh, this trip back to the island. Yeah, the glass definitely helping to keep the Enderman off the rail. I had this one part where I was bouncing back and forth between two Endermen, and they would just keep blocking my path. I'm like, uh, don't want to break the chest, so risky, but I'll try it anyways. And I luckily did not fall into the void. I think I've only died two or three times in this world, mostly due to just pure straight carelessness. And, um, yeah, things I normally wouldn't do. Spare sign. <laughs> okay, and this is the materials I'll be using to build it. More cobble, because that's all I got and uh, all the red torches I made that I mentioned before. Okay, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll come back, and I'll be doing random other stuff. I still have the rail line stuff to work at in my place, and I got this ender farm to work on, and then after this, got the uh, official iron farm, not this kind of glitchy one, and probably also have the mob grinder as well to work on. So we've got a few things to still work on, but I'm going to get the ender farm finished up first, and then we'll get along with that. So stay tuned, guys, and if you enjoy this, of course, as always, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Cheers.